Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Cancer love reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Guys, I would like to give a special shout out to my very good friend, uh, Kimberly. She just opened her own crystal shop. Um, if you're looking for crystals for prote protection, manifesting, you know, and anxiety, depression, um, whatever you need, her website is in the description box below, okay? Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. Every month I do a huge giveaway. Um, tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, tarot cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry, runes, crystals, bibles, um, self-help books, anything from Joyce Meyer to, um, you know, Reiki cleansing, chakra healing, whatever helps you along your spiritual journey, okay? Emotional support. Um, so guys in the description box below you'll see an email cancerbabytarot at gmail you can go ahead and shoot me your youtube name I didn't say username I'm so excited uh, youtube name and um, what you would like to manifest in the giveaway okay um, so again be sure to click that notification bell so you know when the uh, winners are announced and when my readings post um, what else do I want to tell you? I also do a $250 giveaway every month. You do not have to send an email for that. Um, I go to the comments section and I read what you guys are going through, how the readings resonate with you, and that's how I choose the winner, okay? All right, my loves, let's get shuffled up here. Let's see what we have going on today. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my cancers, please. What messages does cancer need to hear today, please? Spirit, advice, clarity, guidance for my cancers, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. All right, let's see what we have here, guys. So we have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Ten of Cups. A lot of blue there. The Moon, Cancer, Piscean, Energy. The King of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, seven of pentacles, and the eight of swords. Cancer, oh boy. Cancer, I feel like in the past there was uh, a situation here, or maybe you're just coming out of a situation like this. Um, where I feel like one person was, you know, giving all everything, everything that they had. And the other person was very emotionally disconnected because they felt like um, there was something else out there. Like this was always this energy of, you know, there might be better. I don't want to settle down because what if there's something better? I don't want to, you know, there's always something better. And I feel that this person had very intense emotion for you, Cancer, um, but they chose not to look at it. They chose to just tuck it deep, deep away. You know what I'm saying? Tuck it away and think logically. Um, you know, I, I can't be with Cancer because I want a person that's like this or I need a person that's like this or I want to do this with my life and then I want to settle down or I just, I don't, I can't be with Cancer right now. Now, Cancer, this could be you that did this to somebody, okay? Um, and I feel like this person maybe is starting to realize that. They're starting to realize the intense emotion that they had for you that they didn't want to acknowledge. And they're like, shit <laughs> shit you know what i'm saying because with the seven of pentacles I, i'm just looking at this this guy's face here and guys gender doesn't matter here i'm just looking at the cards you know the, he the way he's looking at this right here right he's like 
shit <laughs> you know seven of pentacles does talk about looking back you know at the past and you know being nostalgic and being nostalgic this person may be reminiscing may, this person is thinking of memories of you the way you smiled the way you did this the way you pronounce this word you know promises that were made and someone is realizing that they made a mistake and with the eight of swords here um this person is very much stuck on them. They, they, this person can't get you out of their head. Now, for some of you, you could be dealing with someone who is in prison, or you could be dealing with somebody who is stuck in a certain situation and wishes that now you were there with them. So for instance, this could be, um, you know, someone in the army that, you know, is far away now, and now they're wishing that they had your emotional support. Do you see what I'm saying? Somebody who maybe is stuck in something, it could even be stuck in a third party situation, wishing you know, because I feel like someone, I'm getting this energy of someone is stuck somewhere and they're looking at the past. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's an energy of, you know, I can't get this person out of my head. I'm stuck on cancer. Um, but also an energy of this person may be stuck in a certain place. Again, it could be with a third party situation. It could be in prison. It could be, I don't know, they enlisted in the army or they moved and now they're stuck somewhere that they don't want to be. And it's causing them to look back. What it, wherever this person is, it's causing them to look back and reflect. So let's see what we have here. The Eight of Pentacles. And Temptation. Capricorn energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo energy. We have the Three of Wands. The Ace of Cups. And the Four of Swords. So, guys... I feel like whatever you're, this person is going through, and again, Cancer, this could be you, okay? This could be you. I don't know, all right? But we have somebody here that is, I feel, looking in on themselves, okay? You know, because that Eight of Pentacles, it does talk about putting work in. Yes, it does. It is also a, a card of learning, it's a card of study. It's a card of, you know, looking and analyzing a situation, studying, um, learning, and, and just uh, when I see it next to this temptation card, I'm kind of getting this feeling where someone is, is kind of in a position right now where they are forced to study themselves, to look at themselves. And with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, um, I feel like it's been a while since you've heard from this person. Uh, and with that three of wands, I feel like this person is realizing, you know, I've been searching, I've been searching, I've been searching. But it's like I'm looking for cancer in everyone that I meet. Why didn't I just stay with cancer? Do you see what I'm saying? Like someone here is like starting to wake up and be like, you know, I have these hidden emotions for cancer and I'm going around and I'm taking my time and I'm I'm yearning, I'm searching, I'm looking, but I, I can't seem to find anyone else other, you know, than cancer that kind of like sparks this emotion in me or I'm not finding what I'm looking for, right? So I feel like someone is actually yearning to come in and communicate, yearning to apologize. I feel that with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups, um, this person I'm telling you, I feel like maybe this person went through something. I hate to say it for some of you, maybe this person got hurt, like where, you know, they broke their leg or something and now they're kind of laid up, you know, because with that four of swords, that could mean recovery, right? So this person maybe went through something or is somewhere where they are stuck and bored and forced to kind of think. Do you see what I'm saying? This person is kind of forced to think I'm feeling, um, and they want to rekindle this. I feel like they want to rekindle this. They, you know, that Ace of Cups there with that Four of Swords, they may want to come in, guys, and um, see if they can heal the situation, see if they can recover what was lost. We've got the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy, and the Ace of Swords. The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. And the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. So Cancer, I'm getting this energy of someone here is starting to ask around about you. 
They're looking you up online. They're trying to find out the truth and see what's going on. Someone here wants to see what you've been up to. They're looking for, you know, a real and true information. With the High Priestess and the Hierophant, the problem here is, I feel cancer, some of you, some of you, Maybe in a relationship, but you haven't posted it on social media. Or you're in a relationship and nobody knows about it. Okay? That could be an issue. Um, or this could be, I mean, with the Hierophant and the High Priestess right next to each other, I feel like somebody here maybe is waking up to the fact that this is very much a divine union. I mean, this is divine. This is inner wisdom. This is commitment, tradition. Someone here may be waking up to the fact or realizing that truth that this was a very strong soul tie, a divinely guided soul tie. And I feel like someone here is rushing in, you know, wanting commitment. Okay? Now, for others of you that are in a relationship, a new relationship, and not to say that it's a secret, but maybe you just haven't posted it online or not people don't know your business right now okay so maybe you know this person is looking to see what your relationship status is and they don't know because you're not you haven't made it public yet so i feel that this person may rush in wanting to see if they could make it work with you um you know for some of you they may get hit they may hit a wall because you're in a relationship for others of you um Seems to me like this person's been doing some soul searching here. Working on some shadow work. So we have the Justice card. Libra energy. And the Fool. Aries energy. The Two of Swords. And the Five of Swords. Oh. The Hanged Man. Piscean energy. And fortune's wheel. Oh boy. So Cancer, what we have here, what we have here is uh, we have someone that's paying their karma. We have someone who did some stupid crap. Okay. I mean, and they know they did stupid crap right up here. They did some, they, they were foolish. Okay. They didn't want to commit. They didn't want to settle down. They wanted to act immature. And now they're paying for it with that justice card. You know, you reap what you sow. The shoe is on the other foot now. Because I feel that with the two of swords and the five of swords, A, you don't want to deal with their drama and their bull crap and their mind games. B, you may have a choice between two people and they're not getting chosen. And now they're about to have a, a titty attack, like a full, grown a full grown adult tantrum is about to happen here. And with the hanged man and the fortune's wheel, I feel like this person is coming to the conclusion that they blocked their own blessing. Okay, they block their own blessing and there's nothing that you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing, uh, you know, listen, I can't, you know, you had your chance. I gave it my all. You know what I'm saying? I gave it my all. And for whatever reason, cancer, of whether you're in a new relationship, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're in a new relationship or um, you just don't want to deal with this person's crap. This is not the deck I want to use. You don't want to deal with this person's crap, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, I, I just feel, I feel like this person is going to come to the realization that they have blocked their blessing. So let's see here. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. So we've got the Six of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? One person was giving, one person not so much. So there was a very uneven give and take here. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Cancer, I'm telling you, you gave this person all your money, all your heart, all your time, all your energy. And you know what they gave you back? Seven swords in the back. There you go. Lies, cheating, deception, taking advantage. And they have to look at this now. Eight of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands, Temptation, and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So this person has taken their sweet time, okay, has taken their sweet time going around, dating, looking, talking, doing all this other crap. They've put all this work in and they're searching, 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 but they can't find somebody like you. They can't even find what they're looking for. You know why? Because they found what they were looking for and they didn't even stop long enough to pay attention, okay? And I feel that now what's happening is 
this person, now that they're looking at themselves, they're working on themselves, they're starting to really realize what it is that they want. And they're starting to realize that the way they treated you was toxic and that they have to come in and apologize. So we've got the Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So someone here is like, I'm trying to find out about cancer, but I don't know if the information I'm getting is reliable. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's happening in their life, but I do know with that Ace of Swords, I do know clear as day that I have to put the work in, that I have to try, okay, that I have to try. Tell me about the Justice card, the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the Fool card, and the Four of Swords. So, you know, what's happening here, guys, is somebody is paying their karma for wanting to have attention, wanting to just do whatever they wanted to do. The King of Wands in his lower vibration is somebody who is very stubborn, somebody who loves the attention of other women, other men, wants to go out, wants to party, is very possessive, very jealous, very controlling. You know what I'm saying? It's just not a positive energy, okay? Not a pot of positive energy. This is somebody who was very immature with that four of swords all they did was lay around did nothing didn't put anything into this connection it was all about them gimme 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 and that's it and now they're paying the price now they're paying their karma for that five of pentacles they're being left out in the cold they're hurting financially this person is just not doing good yeah this person's not doing good um and i feel like you see here Look, we've got the Page of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the, now th this person's not doing good. Something happened to this person. This person got hurt either by a third party. This person, it's, something happened to this person where they are suffering right now, and they're realizing that, you know, they had stability. They had somebody that would have stood by them during this time, okay, but they chose to cheat and lie and to be deceitful and, you know, Ten of Swords, you know, you, they betrayed you to the point where there's just, you know, no other option but to walk away from this. Tell me about this Moon card, please. The World, King of Swords, and the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So, Cancer, as I said, this person kept secrets. This person didn't want to acknowledge or see their emotion for you. So with the world card, they slammed the door on it. They chose a third party that logically they felt would be better for them. Okay. Logically, logically. Tell me about this knight of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, three of wands, the eight of cups. So I'm feeling here, cancer, that this person this person is now wanting to come in, wanting to apologize because with the three of wands and the eight of cups, I feel like this person, um, with this queen of wands energy here, see with you, they were not giving emotionally, but they received this beautiful love. They received this abundant, amazing, just a 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles love. It doesn't get any better than that. Okay. It doesn't. So what's happening is this queen of wands was lacking. This queen of wands was not bringing in that love and that emotion. Hi high priestess and the knight of swords aquarius gemini libra energy and the hierophant with the five of cups so i feel like this person has no flipping clue what's going to happen they just know that they have to charge in and try and try but with that five of cups and that hierophant this person, all they can do is come in and say, listen, I'm really willing to commit right now. I really regret what I did to you. Two of swords and the six of cups, the five of swords and the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. So I, I feel like this X is going to get cut off. You're going to cut them off. You're going to, I don't know who, someone, the, the past is getting cut off with the moon card and the five of swords. A, you don't know if you can trust them because this person is just full of illusions. Like they're, they're not honest. And with the five of swords, there's a lot of mind games that comes with this person. Um, tell me about the seven of pentacles, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Someone here is starting to realize, like I said, you see how that person is looking back? They're starting to realize, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, that they had their blessing. Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. They keep, like, they, they keep... 
Okay, so this person is either getting a message that they're stuck somewhere or they want to talk because there's a, like this person is in their head and they want to speak. They want to communicate, okay? Or this person maybe is getting a message that they're stuck somewhere and now they're realizing that, you know, they're looking back saying I should have helped, you know, I should have been with my cancer. Ace of Cups and the Star. This person is really hoping and wanting reconciliation. Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person person knows that they have to stop being selfish. They know that they have to heal whatever part of themselves, um, or if they want to heal this connection, they have to stop coming from this place of lack, okay? We have the Knight of Cups and the Devil. Capricorn Energy. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So we've got the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. So guys, this person is coming in. They're coming in with a love offer. They're coming in saying that they want commitment. They're coming in to seduce. They're coming in to romance. They're also coming in as the devil. And mind you, we've got the devil card here twice. So this person is either obsessed about wanting reconciliation um, or you know what I'm saying? They're, they're coming in with a lot of jealousy, anger. This person really wants this back. The Hanged Man and the Knight of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. The Wheel of Fortune and the Death Card. Scorpionic Energy. So this person is basically, let me tell you what they're saying. <laughs> they're saying, listen, if you think that you're not going to choose me, you're crazy, is what they're saying, okay? With the chariot, the five of wands, and the seven of cups, uh, this person's going to lose their shit, okay? Th this person's going to lose their mind with jealousy, and with the chariot, they're charging forward, okay? With the high priestess and the, with excuse me, with the hierophant and the two of swords, this person refuses to get cut out. They want commitment with you. They are going to chase you. Eight of wands and nine of cups. You are there. You are their wish fulfillment right now. And there you are, queen of cups with the eight of swords. They can't get over you. They can't get you out of their head. And with the nine of swords, this person's not doing well. This person's not doing well, and they know and realize that your love is the only thing that can heal this, that can heal whatever they're going through. We've got temperance, which is a, a card of peace. It's it's angelic. It's it's just sere it's serene. Do you see what I'm saying? And with the Ten of Cups, this person needs that type of love right now. They need it for whatever they're going through. And this person, the more you leave them on red, and the more you don't talk to them and the more you just push them to the side with that hangman, the more they charge forward with that knight of wands, the more passionate and obsessive they come, become with the devil and the knight of wands energy. This person is going to change their destiny. This person's like, I understand that this is my karma. I understand that really, you know, you shouldn't take me back. I understand I messed up, but I'm going to change my destiny. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change. I know, I know I deserve to lose you, but I'm going to come in. I have changed. I want better. I want my blessing back. I'm willing to change. I'm willing to do whatever, but I want my blessing back. That's what they're saying, Cancer. And this person is obsessed about it. And the more you try to push this person away, the more they're going to fight. So let's see where this is going. Okay, we'll take it into the extended. Um, the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. So let's see what this person's true feelings and intentions are. Let's see what happens if you uh, reconcile with this person and let's see what happens if you leave and move on to new love, you know, what's going to happen. Okay, and then we'll pull some Oracle for clarification. I love you guys. Bye.